Hey everyone, it's Jeff and Randy the Research Rat from PeptideCritic.com. And today I just wanted to do a quick screen share showing why we filter our peptides. One of the more common comments we see in our filtering tutorial video is that, you know, it's overkill, you don't need to do it. I've been injecting peptides for 15 years and never had a problem. And dude, awesome. That's so awesome. Very lucky. Uh, the, the reality is that a lot of these batches fail. They will fail sterility. Uh, it's not like 50-50, it's more like 10%. Uh, at least that's what we've seen. And there's a dark side to this. So recently we bought a bunch of kits of TERS from a, a place called Avant. And uh, there was a group test to see uh, what was in it and it failed uh, everything. Uh, it grew mold, it grew bacteria. Uh, this was a group test that we were part of. The cool part about group tests is you can get 10 bottles tested and it costs you 50 bucks because there's, you know, 40 people in the group. But testing is cost prohibitive. Filtering's good. And the bad news is this stuff is in the wild. Uh, it was being sold before these tests came out on back channels on K-Hole and there are vendors carrying it right now. And this is a common practice. They're all friends, they all talk, and they all will fill gaps with each other in uh, supply when needed. Um, I pulled up a couple of vendors, uh, Mile High Compounds, they actually test for sterility. And they also test for endotoxins, metals, it's awesome. Uh, they weren't doing this, I don't think, six months ago. They are doing it now and it's good to see. Uh, however, if I were to you know, research with any of this, I'd still filter it because it can't hurt. Uh, this is uh, Glacier Amino. Steve over there, awesome dude. Let me zoom in. Let's see. Again, they tested it for, uh, you know, purity. They tested a mass, and then um, it was an overfill. That's fine, because they list it. We've been over that. Um, and then it uh, passed endo, it passed fungal, it passed bacterial. And um, there's not much more you can say about it. But again, it's cool. They're doing the testing. I'd still filter it. And it's just a habit you should be in uh, if you're researching in this space. So, uh, you know, again, this was an order from Avant. This was a group I was in. There's also a 25 milligram uh, batch that was made around the same time that's probably gonna fail. And, uh, you know, if you really dig into what's going on here, um, there's, there's a lot of, uh, contaminated batches in the space and you just have to be careful uh you know if you've come across a contaminated batch go to our website leave a horrid review for the vendor because we want to know about it if you've been using a, ben a vendor for five years and it's been great and nothing but uh butterflies and rainbows please come write a review about it so people know because uh, the only thing keeping stuff honest in this space is testing and people who aren't afraid to uh, share their experiences so Filter your peptides, otherwise you'll get this growing inside of you, and a filter 60 cents. So 60 cents or this growing inside of you. Take your pick. As always, leave a comment, tell us we're wrong, tell us we're right, uh, and uh, happy researching from Jeff and Randy the Research Rat at peptidecritic.com.